and Valerospace's 14 ships have arrived and been added to the free fly. If, like me, you haven't even got through the Aegis stuff yet, here's my breakdown of the Anvil lineup to help you get to the ships that interest you the most. Hold up, if you're wondering why I didn't do one of these for Aegis, well, I did. I've only got 60 subs, no one saw it, so um, go check it out. After this one, of course. The Carrick is a top tier exploration ship and was one of the most anticipated ships in Star Citizen and with good reason. As far as I'm concerned every player who hasn't yet should make sure they try the ship. It's got a little bit of everything, onboard hangar, ground vehicle bay, medical bay for the respawns and a decent cargo capacity. It's also got a drone bay, a scanning room and a repair bay, although their gameplay loops aren't available yet. It's got beds for 5 crew. And for self-defense, it boasts four manned turrets, all with twin size 4 hardpoints. So if you take the Carrick out on Monday, for example, when Tumble and Kruger are at the expo, you'll be able to take all of that, plus up to four cyclone buggies in the vehicle bay. And if you feel like getting your exploration on, stick around to the end of the video. I'll have directions for you to find something particularly impressive on the moon of Damar that you won't find on any map. The Pisces and the Pisces Expedition variant are effectively the same craft. The Expedition just has two more weapon hardpoints for a total of four. They operate as shuttles or scout craft from the Carrack, but can actually be fitted with jump drives so they can make capable runabouts, although you should be avoiding fights if at all possible. Both types are able to carry up to four SCU, so they'll work pretty well on supply runs. Seeing as the Pisces and the Carrack are available at the same time, there's every reason to give them a go. The Arrow is a personal favourite. It's the most mobile light fighter and it's the definition of a glass cannon. I've got one of these and it's absolutely my go-to combat ship. Two Gatling cannons on the wings, two laser repeaters in the top turret, six missiles. It's every bit as fun to fly as it looks. If you like the idea of Urban Bounty Hunter, the Hawk Single Seater is a serious contender. Its payload of size 1 weapon mounts is more for disabling than destroying, but it excels at that role with its onboard EMP generator. Once you've disabled your bounty, they can be secured in the onboard detainment pod, or you can offer to put your mate in it because they can't open it from the inside. If you're finding this helpful, please do smack the like button, it really does help out. Now possibly Star Citizen's most recognisable ship is the Hornet Medium Fighter. It's got a whole bunch of variants. The F7A is the military variant and that's not normally available to players. The F7C is our civilian variant that has non-military components. The F7CM is the Super Hornet and this has got two crew because it's got a manned turret, it's also got a jump drive. The Ghost is built for stealth, with low emission drives and a void armor tech, whatever that means. And the Tracker is a Pathfinder, with an advanced radar suite for exploration or squadron command and control. The Valkyrie is a massive combat dropship. It hints at really exciting gameplay, at the idea of massed military combat operations from orbit to a planet's surface, landing in the face of hostile fire. It supports a maximum of 5 crew, but two manned and two remote turrets, and two door guns for extra fun. It'll support 20 troops inside with a ground vehicle as well. The Soviet Cold War era looking ballista is Anvil's ground to air defense vehicle, with room for two crew and a serious weapons payload. It's got two size seven and eight size five missiles, and for good measure, it's got a remote turret on top with two Gatling cannons. Right now, I mean, it's not really seeing masses of use because of the armistice zones around planetary landing areas. But once the Hercules is in game, there's nothing to stop people loading it up and flying off with it. Another of Anvil's specialist vehicles, the Terrapin will play the role of reconnaissance or pathfinder to larger fleets and organizations. It's a single crew vessel that is tough as nails, as its name would suggest. 
There's a single bed and a scanning station that's built into the core of the ship. The Hurricane Heavy Fighter has two crew, a pirate and a turret gunner. With a total of two size 3 hardpoints and four size 3 in the turret, as well as four size 2 missiles, this ship is a lot of fun with a friend on combat missions. Just make sure you use your speed rather than relying on your shields if you fly this. Make your attack run, back off and then come in for a second run. Based on the same design as the Hornet, the Gladiator Bomber has been modified for civilian use. With two crew positions, it appears pretty similar to the Super Hornet, except that it's got a heavier missile payload. I really like how this airframe... space frame? looks very similar to the Hornet. It's easy to imagine combined wings of them flying from a carrier and oh, that kind of makes me happy. If you still can't make your mind up, I would recommend the Carrack, the Hawk, the Valkyrie and the Arrow. Um, I'm going to be breaking down every lineup throughout the entire free fly, so make sure you subscribe to stay in the know. For those who want to go exploring, your treasure map is coming up next. For everyone else, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. So this exploration bit's going to work a little bit like a treasure hunt. I'm not going to walk you through it because exploration wouldn't be rewarding if it was easy. I'm going to give you a couple of clues, let you know where you're going and let you figure it out for yourself. All I will say as you approach the planet, A, it's a moon, make sure you slow down, it's really easy to slam into the planet. And secondly, use F, hold it down, scroll your mouse wheel up, that will allow you to stay in your seat but zoom in on stuff and what you're looking for might render in a lot sooner if you're looking for it zoomed. Enjoy, have fun and I'll see you soon.